Hey, I'm Chris Troy, host of St. Clair County Resus Moment in History, and I'm back in Port Huron in Lakeside Cemetery. Like me, there are many people who enjoy an afternoon stroll through history by walking through a local cemetery in their area. I think one of the most interesting things about a location like Lakeside is the diverse style of headstones which can be found. Marble, granite, and sandstone mark the final resting place of loved ones throughout the ages. Now among those headstones are a few markers that take on a more natural appearance. These markers are works of art themselves and are designated to celebrate the members of a fraternal organization that still today helps people worldwide. Today on Moment in History, we take a look at the Woodsman's Circle and how these amazing markers found their way to the Port Huron area. Now in 1890, Omaha, Nebraska's Joseph Cullen Root served as a member of several fraternal organizations, including the Freemasons. Following hearing a sermon about the pioneer woodsmen clearing away the forest to provide for their families, he wanted to start a society that would clear away problems of financial security for its members. In 1883, he founded the Modern Woodmen of America in his home in Lyons, Iowa. But after internal dissension within the Modern Woodsmen of America, Root was ejected from the very organization he founded. Root moved to Omaha in 1890 and decided to start again with a new group he called the Modern Woodsmen of the World. He soon dropped the Modern and the organization became simply known as the Woodmen of the World. It was during this period that bylaws would be drawn up, including terms that hearkened to logging camps. In fact, each local division of the society was known as a camp. The society grew throughout North America, and the Woodsman's first financial statement on December 31, 1891, listed 5,461 members. The first death claim was paid to that of William J. Miller, who drowned April 22, 1900, in Port Huron, Michigan. In 1891, the Women's Auxiliary of the Woodman of the World was established. It was first known as the Mystic Circle, but the name was soon changed to the Woodman's Circle. It was during the Mystic Circle period of the organization that it was determined that as part of the insurance plan, special grave markers would be made available to members of the group. These markers would reflect the organization's name and reflect back on the original sermon that was heard by Root in 1890. The markers would resemble tree stumps and would show sawed or broken limbs, traditionally symbolizing a life cut short. These monuments would be tall, with many being over five foot. In 1917, the women of the Woodcraft became known as the Neighbors of the Woodcraft. The organization continued to grow, and by 1900, the society had 219 million of insurance in force. The first Boys of the Woodcraft Club was organized in 1903 and remained until 1947 when their name was changed to the Rangers, but they still enjoyed camping, which was sponsored by the Woodmen. By the 1920s, producing the elaborate grave markers had become expensive, and with that decision, grave markers of members would now only receive a stamp on their stone recognizing them as a member. In 1965, the Women of the Woodcraft and the Woodmen of the World combined into the Woodmen of the World Life Insurance Company. Today, Woodmen of the World provides financial services to approximately 800,000 members in the U.S. For Moment in History Extra, I'm Chris Troy, reminding you that history lives in all of us.